Hey, what's up guys? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. There are two ways to change background color in InDesign. One way that prints when you print it or it's on your PDF itself. The second way is more like a preview and it's going to be transparent, but it's like you can preview the paper color. I'm gonna show you both ways and why you could use either one. Okay, so here we are in InDesign. I'm gonna talk you through several things because I think they'll be helpful to you, especially if you're looking to change background color. The first way we're gonna look at is the way that's actually gonna print, the way you expect. So if I change this background color to a yellow, it's gonna print yellow on my page. Now I want you to notice this red line around the outside. And I have all of my guides on here because we're currently in non-preview mode, if you will. I don't know what that's called, but if I hit the W key, I go to preview mode and all those guides and lines fall away, they go away, and I see what's my document actually is, my print size and everything of my document. I wanna talk about these red lines real quick. If I hit W, again, it switches back from that preview mode. These red lines are called a bleed, and a bleed is what a printer needs so that they can print extra background color and cut it off so that your background color goes to the edge of the page. Anytime you're printing something to the edge of the page like a background color, you need a little bit of bleed on there for the printer, or else there's gonna be white around your page. Just like if you're printing on a home printer, there's gonna be white edges around the page because your printer can't print edge to edge perfectly, and you're gonna have to trim those off if you want a, uh, a, your background to bleed off the edges. So to set up the bleed, make sure you go to File, down to Document Setup, or in the beginning, you'll have this window when you have a new document. Twirl down this bleed and slug and add a bleed. Usually 0.125 inches or an eighth of an inch is an appropriate amount of bleed. Uh, make sure that's all the way across the top, bottom, inside and outside. Hit OK, and this is the bleed setting. So why is that all important? Well, to create a background color, I'm gonna create just a shape. I need to create an object and fill it with color. So I'm gonna create a rectangle. The, the shortcut key for that is M. And I'm going to zoom out a little with Command or Control minus. And I'm gonna make sure that this rectangle covers the entirety of my document, including the bleed. So I want it to land completely outside of all the bleed's edges. There we go. Now, right now, it's filled with white. So I'm gonna go up here, change the swatch color to something like a yellow, just for demonstration purposes. Now this is gonna be pretty popping little color, but notice how it covered up all the things that were on my page. Well, if I click back on the selection tool, right click on this guy and go down to arrange, there's a little button called send to back. It's shift command left bracket or shift control left bracket, and that's gonna send that background to the very, very back of all my elements. Now what I can do with this guy is lock him in with Command or Control L, and he's just gonna stay there, and now I can't accidentally move him or anything, but I can work with my elements on top of that background. I'm gonna undo those two changes. Now, what happens if I hit W again? Because this looks a little messy. Well, when I hit W, we go into preview mode, there's my full sheet with the background color. This will save to your PDF and print out when you save to a PDF, make sure you include the bleed if you're sending this to a printer, an actual printer who's going to print this for you and trim it, and they're going to appreciate that because they'll be able to cut it to your document size uh, with the background bleeding off the edge. Okay, so that is how to change background color for something that is going to be visibly printed, but what if you just want to preview your paper color that you're going to be printing on without actually printing any color on it? right? You want to print transparent, but maybe your paper is going to be like a tan color. How do you preview that? Well, the first thing we want to do is unlock this background layer. Option command L is going to unlock that or alt control L will unlock that background layer. I can click on it, hit the delete key and get rid of it. What I need to do here is change the paper color. So I can do that by just going up to window, down to color, down to swatches, that's F5 as a shortcut key. When my swatches pop up, there's a few swatches in the beginning. We see none, that's pretty self-explanatory. Registration, we see black, we also see paper, and these are all in parentheses or brackets. What I can do with this guy is if I double click on him, I can change his color, and if I check mark preview, I'm gonna see the changes as I make them. If I give that a little bit of yellow, maybe a little bit of red, maybe that's too much. Uh, we can get sort of like a tan color out of this. So if I'm printing this on some sort of tan paper, 
I can hit OK. This paper color is a preview only. This will not be on, so if you export your PDF, you're gonna see it on white because technically it's just transparent, right? But when I'm building something in here, let's say I'm building some kind of certificate that's gonna be on a tan paper. I don't actually need to print tan on that physical tan paper. I just wanna preview it to see what it's gonna look like. Give, it, give myself a little bit of a clue what my design's gonna look like on that paper. So if I hit W again, uh, I can preview the entire document and kinda of see that. And once again, this way, changing the paper color swatch is not gonna print. Adding an element like a rectangle with a fill color is going to print. So those are the two ways to change background color in InDesign. I hope you uh, understand that now and I hope I explained that well. Uh, there's there's several tutorials out there, but I felt like just kind of combining everything into one and really giving you guys uh, all the information around background color in Adobe InDesign. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe, check out the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.